How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the newly released prices or starting prices of the new 2023 Chevy Corvette C06 that Chevy recently just released uh, I think this past week. But before we get into today's video definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Any support really does help me out a lot as a smaller YouTuber and also if you are subscribed definitely be sure to click that little bell icon down there as well. That actually turns on post notifications so you do get notified every single time that I post a video but let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it so I have all of the starting prices listed down for the 1LZ 2LZ and 3LZ 2023 Chevy Corvette C06 now these are the MSRPs and I don't think that these prices are unreasonable whatsoever I think that they shouldn't be a deal breaker and the key word there is it shouldn't be a deal breaker now unfortunately i do believe that uh, what we saw with the c8 the regular c8 corvette stingray i think that's going to happen again i do believe that the markup uh, percentage on these cars are going to be extremely high all across Chevy dealerships uh, throughout the nation. And for the sake of this video, I am just trying to be optimistic and act as though the actual, you know, uh, starting prices are really going to be the actual price of the cars. But anyways, uh, getting into the first option, the base option for these new uh, Z06s, we have the 1LZ, which starts at 106,395 US dollars. Now the convertible options for this car add a extra seven to seven and a half thousand US dollars. So the uh, base model 1LZ in a convertible would be starting at 113,000 US dollars. Now the Z07 package, which if we're looking at this article by Car and Driver here, uh, says that it adds an F. E7 suspension tune, carbon ceramic brakes, Michelin Pilot Sport uh, Cup 2RZP tires. Wow, that is a mouthful for a tire name. And underbody strakes. Uh, that adds just under 9,000 uh, US dollars. And also, you're going to have to get the carbon aero packages, which are either basically 8,500 or if you want the exposed carbon fiber, 10 and a half thousand extra US dollars, which is crazy. Now the carbon fiber wheels package adds another 12 grand on top of that. And the overall carbon package, which I guess is different from the car carbon aero package, does add an additional 10 grand. Uh, that might be the same uh, one. Comment down below if I'm incorrect. I love to hear your guys' opinions and I do appreciate the uh, constructive criticism. But from what I'm seeing and all the different options, a completely specced out, everything uh, included, 1LZ hardtop should come in at around $138,000 with its convertible counterpart again with all the different options and in the 1LZ should come in at $145,000. Now the starting price for the 2LZ uh, hardtop is $115,595 and the starting price for the 3LZ uh, hardtop is $120,245. So using the same numbers that we did before for all the different options, according to my calculations, a fully loaded 2LZ hardtop should come in at 148, and a fully loaded 2LZ convertible should come in at 154,000 US dollars, while the fully loaded hardtop 3LZ comes in at 152, and the fully loaded convertible 3LZ, the absolute top of the line, new Z06 C8, should retail at 159,000 US dollars. So basically 160 grand. Now, uh, when we add, again, dealership fees on top of that, any sort of markup, we may very well be looking at for approximately $170,000 uh, uh, for the absolute top of the line uh, Z06s. Now, you may be uh, thinking back to the beginning of the video and thinking that I'm crazy for saying that this isn't really a deal breaker for this car. Again, keep in mind the vehicle that this new C8 Z06 is. I had the privilege to see one in person at the New York Auto Show, and I also did have the privilege to review an actual uh, regular C8 Stingray last year. Uh, if you wanna check that out, I'll leave the links to both those videos on top of this video. I do think that the markup is gonna be really ridiculous for these cars. I think that there's definitely going to be uh, dealerships out there that, that, there that are going to be trying to sell them for 200 to 250 K even. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's just the reality of it. I really hope that that doesn't happen. And I do think that if these cars do 
start to go over that 200k mark, I don't think that they're worth it. Uh, one common theme that I had throughout my entire review of the 2020 C8 uh, that I drove last year is that I don't think that it was worth it for the money that the dealership uh, that let me review their car uh, was asking. Now I know that might seem a little bit disrespectful and I do uh, really appreciate the dealership for letting me take it out and you know film some videos with it. But again, I think the dealership was asking like around 105K and it was a 2LT C8 Corvette. I don't think that that car is worth it for that money. Now, if we looked at the original, you know, OG MSRPs for the 1LT C8 Corvette, it was supposed to start at 65K, where the 3LT fully loaded version was supposed to start at 77K. For that price, I think the C8 Corvette is a no-brainer, really good car, a lot of value for the, um, you know, a lot of bang for your buck, let's put it that way. But unfortunately, we've seen dealers, again, ask 100K, 120, even up, some were some up to like 150, even I heard one person say like 190, a dealership was asking for a regular C8 uh, Corvette. Now, mind you, it was a 3LT and it was fully loaded, but still, I just don't think that uh, those cars are really worth it for that much money. The same, principle does apply to these new Z06s that are coming out. If dealerships are gonna start asking between 200 to 250K, even I would say around like 180, 190 for them, I just, I don't really think that they're worth it. But I do think that they're a fantastic American made budget supercar. I think that they're definitely going to give the Porsches a run for their money. And now Corvette is starting to really separate itself uh, from the realm of all the other American made sports cars, I guess, like your Shelby's, uh, maybe your Hellcats. And now it's starting to go into a more refined world of your Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Now I know to some people that might be a stretch, but uh, give it another generation or two and hopefully Chevy keeps improving on the Corvette and it doesn't regress and uh, take a step back like we saw from, I don't know, like the C2 or C3 generations down to the C4. Uh, I know a lot of people like to hate on the C4 and uh, rightfully so. So hopefully that doesn't happen in the next generation of the Corvette. And hopefully we do continue to see Chevy really pushing the limits with this flagship of a car that it has. And again, I just really hope that Chevy dealerships I just don't mark up this thing a ridiculous amount. I, I know that they're going to because they can and people will still pay 150, 160, 170, 180 for these cars. Uh, but I just really hope that it doesn't happen. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of this new Z06 down in the comments below. I do really think it's a fantastic car and I do think that these starting prices really aren't a deal breaker. Uh, let me know if you guys think they're worth it for 160 to 150 or if you'd rather get something like a used Lamborghini if you had that type of money just laying around. But like always, thank you guys so much for all the continued support and I'll see you in the next one.